This is on the cores and branches of internal carotid artery. The common carotid artery divides into internal carotid and external carotid artery at the level of upper border of thyroid cartilage which correspond to fourth cervical vertebra and internal carotid artery is posterior to external carotid artery. The course and branches of external carotid artery was already discussed earlier. The internal carotid artery has no branches in the neck and it goes intracranially and terminates by dividing into middle cerebral artery and anterior cerebral artery. So this Cotillier and Van Loren classification divides the course of internal carotid artery into seven segments. The first one or the cervical segment is from the division of common carotid artery from the level of upper border of thyroid cartilage up to carotid canal of the temporal bone that is C1 and this C1 has no branches. From the entrance to the carotid canal up to the posterior edge of foramen lacerum. So this is it is going into the cranial cavity through the carotid canal and uh, it is not going through the foramen lacerum. You should remember that. It is not going through the foramen lacerum but it is passing over foramen lacerum. So from the entrance to the carotid canal to the posterior edge of uh, foramen lacerum is C2 that is the petrous segment. Um, and branches of the petrous segment include carotico-tympanic artery and the median artery. So from C1 there is no branches from C2 goes carotico-tympanic and the median artery. And next segment is C3 or uh, lacerum segment, lacerum segment. That is from the posterior edge of foramen lacerum to the superior margin of petrolingual ligament. This here there is petrolingual ligament. So from the posterior edge of foramen lacerum where the C2 ends, C3 starts and it is up to the superior margin of petrolingual ligament. Okay. There is no consistent branches from third segment. Sometimes the pterygoid branches goes from that. The next is cavernous segment that starts from the superior margin of the petrolingual ligament to the anterior clinoid process. Okay. So here you can see the anterior clinoid process. So up to that is the cavernous segment that is from the superior margin of the petrolingual ligament to the anterior clinoid process. Okay. Uh, otherwise we can also call it as a proximal dural ring. There is proximal dural ring. Here comes the proximal dural ring and there is also a distal dural ring. So up to the proximal dural ring, uh, the, it is a C4 segment or the cavernous segment. And the branches include the meningo hypophyseal trunk and the infralateral trunk. Okay. Next is a clinoid segment. That is from this, that is the proximal dural ring or the anterior clinoid process to the distal dural ring here. Okay, this is C5 or the clinoid. Or uh, the distal dural ring you can also take, can be taken as the roof of cavernous sinus. So from the anterior clinoid process to the roof of cavernous sinus comes the C5 segment. And C6 segment is the ophthalmic segment. That is from the roof of cavernous sinus to you can see the posterior communicating artery going from here. Okay, so up to the up to the origin or proximal to the origin of posterior communicating artery comes the ophthalmic segment. So that is from the distal dural ring up to the proximal to the origin of posterior communicating artery. Okay, so it is very evident that from the ophthalmic segment goes the ophthalmic artery and also the Pituitary comes here. So the superior hypophysic trunk is also a branch of this. So anteriorly goes the ophthalmic artery and the superior hypophysic trunk also goes from the sixth segment. 
and C7 segment or the communicative segment that is from the proximal origin of the posterior communicating artery and that is from the posterior communicating artery to the bifurcation of internal carotid artery. So internal carotid artery terminates by bifurcating into an anterior cerebral artery and a middle cerebral artery. In between that there is an anterior choroidal artery is also there. So from the uh, origin of posterior communicating artery up to the bifurcation of internal carotid artery is the communicating part and the branches include the posterior communicating artery, anterior choroidal artery, anterior cerebral artery and the middle cerebral artery. So like this there are seven segments for internal carotid artery. Seven segments of internal carotid artery according to angiographic uh, anatomy uh, and uh, you can remember it as come please let children consume our candy that is come please let children consume our candy the branches of internal carotid artery along with the vertebral artery forms a circle of villis and supplies the uh, ender brain but the branches of internal carotid artery are from different segments as already mentioned. That is the carotibotympanic and median artery from second segment. Meningohypophyseal trunk and the infralateral trunk is from C4 that is fourth segment. Ophthalmic artery and superior hypophyseal trunk is from the ophthalmic segment. Then the posterior communicating artery, anterior choroidal artery. Then the anterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery forms the seventh segment. So you can remember the ten branches of internal carotid artery as calming voices make intraoperative surgery pleasurable and almost memorable. Calming voices make intraoperative surgery pleasurable and almost memorable. So these are the branches of internal carotid artery.